What's up? My name's Coach Vin. Coach Simone. We're from Honor Martial Arts and we're going to go through a few different variations of the lead tip and a few tips on how to maximize your balance, power and accuracy with it. Okay? So you shape up with your partner. The first thing you have to do is ensure that your timing stance and your posture is tuned or prepared to be able to stand onto one leg. Generally, the stance that allows this is you have your legs a little bit closer together compared to if you're, let's say, more of a boxing style fighter, you'd be wider here, yeah? So if you like to throw your teeps, you go a little bit closer so that when it is time to throw your push kick, in this case against a stationary opponent, we can have a very subtle half step to put our stance leg under our head and stacks our center of mass into one, one point, okay? So I go from here, nice tall position. I go half step, bring that knee high, and then it's like a chain reaction. So we go knee high, and then I'm gonna throw my hip forward, swing my arm, and eyes on target. Now I'm gonna be aiming near the sternum area or like the top part of the abdomen, okay? Find your range as well, should be to the point where your lead arm can't touch your opponent. So here, I've got my rhythm. Go half step, knee high, deep and then back down, reset. Common mistake you want to avoid is you throw your teeth, ball, you feel really excited to get your target and then you just give up and fall down. What's the danger here? Off balance, you get square, hard to block kicks. Yeah. Yeah. Any amount of weapons can hit me at that point because I'm not in control of where I'm landing. Okay, so again to reiterate, we have our range, we have a uh, kind of half prepared posture that to allow a subtle load, okay? And then we throw our hips into the target, we reset. Okay, that's against this stationary opponent or even a retreating opponent. I can just move my stance a little bit more forwards to follow his back step. Right here, pull, like that. But the, the tying principle is I have to optimize my range and my balance before I throw my strike. If I have a uh, advancing opponent, that principle is the same, but I'm moving my stance leg to match his advancing step so that I'm not cramped. A lot of people will see their opponent come in and they just lift up straight away and now they're doing this. Then you end up moving yourself back. Okay? So if I've got my range properly, all I need to do is match it slightly, lift, tip, and then get my position back. Okay? One last variation is if there's a lot of space already, so we're both kind of out of the fight, but I want to re-engage the fight using my lead teep. What I can do is a lead jumping teep with a slight drag back here, okay? So in this case, I'm stacking all my joints, so my head, my spine is on top of my stance leg, slightly bending, and then moving that entire stack with my jump. By the time I land that jump, my teep will be landing on the target. So we're here, we're both out of the fight. I pull back, deep, and then land. Okay? Find that really good off the, the regular standard push kick. Boom, bring it back. <laughs> once, you get that, once, that, once you get that first push kick, you get a bit of, yeah. a bit of range. Okay. It's good to set that long jumping yeah. push kick up too. Yeah, so those are just some quick tips <laughs> that I thought would be helpful. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or any uh, comments. Thanks for watching.